to you by General Atomics and Northeast Mississippi Community College. Welcome back, everyone. It's our goal here at WTVA to keep you informed, especially in difficult times like these. But jobs in the television industry go far beyond being on camera. In this week's edition of Skilled to Work, WTVA Cindy Darden spoke with our very own television engineers about the business. Television is growing, it's not shrinking. For Gary Savage, television isn't just about the glitz and glam. It's also about connecting wires and crunching numbers. He's the director of operations and technology at WTVA and says the need for competent and qualified candidates in the television technology and IT fields are greater than ever. We sometimes have difficulty recruiting younger people because often they just don't consider television. The concern is always where does the next generation of engineers or um, television engineers come from? And that's why college degree or no college degree, Savage is encouraging Generation Z to consider television engineering as a new way to utilize their math skills. It is good to have some training with um, information technologies, you know, IT and computers. Um, it's good if you have some electronic and electrical background. But the job doesn't stop there. Our biggest function is to solve problems. We look at a complex problem, mm -hmm. break the problem into manageable pieces, and solve that problem. Salary possibilities in TV technology range from the mid-30s at entry level all the way up to six figures. But for Savage, the reward of this career is far beyond the money. It's really quite a wide field, uh, and that's what makes it interesting. In Tupelo, Sydney Darden, WTVA 9 News. Those guys keep us on the air. We always appreciate them. If you want to apply for a position in IT or te television technology, go to WTVA.com and click Careers. Gas prices are up 